Alrighty, I know I've been promising a uh, how-to series video, so here's just a quick uh, little down and dirty uh, shot of how I do uh, a lot of the hard edges. So, we're going to start with the Glock 19, and uh, the tools I'm using, I'm basically just using um, a Dremel that you can get anywhere. Um, it's like a $70 or $80 model, and then one of these extensions is pretty much crucial to have. I mean, that's you don't want to hang on to the, the size and weight of a full Dremel in your hand, something with a small hand tool like that. So the other thing you'll notice is uh, the bits here, and I, I doubt it'll focus. Um, the bits I'm using are actually uh, Dennis bits, but I know you can uh, get some, some similar ones from Dremel. I think they're model number 108, but it's an inverted cone, and that's what allows you to get in there and get a really uh, deep and clear-cut groove. It's not a ball, um, uh, and because those just don't cut sharp enough. They'll, they'll definitely cut a groove, but I like that really hard, uh, level uh, ledge that that you get with the cone so that's basically that it's it's uh, cranked up to a high rpm I've got a lamp right here in my lap I'm usually reclined back just because uh, maintaining a posture that you can sit at for hours helps I don't want to be leaning over a, a desk or a bench so you're always going to see me um, kicking back in a, in a chair or a couch similar to this so let's get to it and uh, show you how it's done
All right, so there you have it. Um, that's kind of a down and dirty, um, just a quick video of how I get the hard edge lines. Um, I'm not saying that's the way that everyone does it. That's the way that I have found works for me. And I've just kind of learned through trial and error. So um, give it a try if you're brave. And if you find something else that works for you, then more power to you. That's awesome. Um, here's how it looks on something with a little bit more color and contrast. So that's that's how I've done all those little fine edges, all the little details in there. They've, they've all been hand carved out. And, uh, and that's how I do it. So... Hope you liked the video, hope you learned something from it, and be sure to give me a follow on Instagram or subscribe to the channel here, and uh, stay tuned for updates. Thanks a lot.